Hello, welcome to my lovely channel. I'm Monica Rea, and in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how I made this shirt. So, let's go. Okay, so we're just gonna hop right into it. I'm cutting out all the fabric pieces. So I realized as I'm cutting out these uh, fabric pieces that it's better to go ahead and use the pattern weights, but trace around the pattern with chalk and then cut it out instead of trying to cut with the weights on there. And of course, as you guys know, pressing is super important, so I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out. And now onto the bodice. So here I'm just stay stitching around the neckline, and that's across the two front pieces and around the back. And then there are also gathering stitches at the bottom of the two front pieces and at the bottom of the back. But we're going to get to the gathering later and go ahead and sew up the shoulder seam. So just pinning that down now. And off to the sewing machine. No, I love, love my French scene, so that's what I'm doing now. And they're all done. Now I'm working on the facing, and this is going to go around the neckline. So we're just going to sew these two parts. And here it is. Now that the facing is all sewn up, I'm just pinning it to the bodice here. And I didn't show this, but yes, the facings do have uh, interfacing. And now I'm just attaching that facing to the bodice. Facings are a really nice finish. Um, they're one of my favorites because it gives your garment a really nice polished look as well as a bit of structure. thus far. We've got the facing and the shoulder seams sewn up and I'm getting ready to do the side seams as well. And I didn't show but this I just did a little overcasting stitch on the inside of the facing just to make sure that we keep it all nice and finished and polished. And here I'm working on the ties. You pretty much sew along the perimeter and then turn it inside out. And now I'm connecting those ties to the waistband. And at this point, this is where I'm going to work with the gathers to make sure that the waistband meets up with the side seams of the bodice. Just the outer side of the outer waistband there's going to be an inner waistband so it's a nice finished look on the inside which is equally as important so here we have the peplum and this at this point I'm going to go ahead and sew the two front pieces to the back peplum and then I'm going to go ahead and hem it up 
along the bottom. is attached. This is what I was talking about, the waistband on the inside, so I just need to hand weld that down. And here we go guys, a finished wrap shirt. Alright, that's it. Thank you guys so much for joining me. And of course, don't forget to hit the like or subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!